Good morning everybody. Welcome back to another day. It is Monday. I think it's Monday. So yeah, it's Monday. Uh, I've got up this morning at quarter to nine and rung the hospital because Isabel's bandage has gone, moved down to her ankle. Uh, the, the, the area is still covered, but not like it was. So I've rung them up this morning and asked them what I needed to do. And she says, I can take it off. I can place the bandage back on and I can wrap it back round uh, but if it keeps happening uh, she might need a new bandage on because a calf might be the swelling might be going down so it's going to be loose so I have to keep an eye out for any gooiness any infection anything that doesn't look right basically what she said but I can take it off reapply it which I'm a little bit dubious about because when it went to be like blood that's what I were asking her and she were like yeah it's fine just put it back on uh, I'm a bit dubious about putting old blood back on, on, onto a wound that's supposed to be healing but we will we'll see how it goes basically and if I have to buy my own stuff to keep it clean while she has to go back for stitches on I will buy like more pads the trouble is is the pads that they put on that's attached to the bandage I think it is are really really thick they're like sanitary towel thickness if you know what I mean so it's like a big square pad but it's thick so if I can find something I will find something and I will reapply a new one so I know that it's cleaned. Wait, I'm not clean, I'm not gonna touch it. I'm just gonna put a clean dressing on it and then put a bandage on. That's what I'm gonna do. Uh, I have rung, I've asked permission, that's what they've said. And if it happens, I have to, we have to take her back. Uh, well, we've gotta go through A&E basically, or I can ring the doctors. But I think what I could do is, is, is I could go up to the other hospital and ask them just to change the ba bandage because they will be quicker and they will just take it off reapply it and they'll send us home hopefully but i'm not i'm going to do it myself first that's nala going for cat at the window uh nala's a little bit lost uh She's like looking looking round, basically. So there is always somebody with her at all times. Uh, let me just clean this. It's <laughs> a little bit better. It's not mucky mucky, but there's like sticky stuff where people's touched it. Anyway, that's that. So, uh, we've booked a slot at Dumpit because they've changed out the way they do it now. You've got to register your car or cars to be able to go and take stuff off. So, we've got a day pass. I have washed my hair this morning just to get the little bit of a pinkiness out of it so it's not too pink. Uh, but I have to go for it cutting and then probably redo it but I don't want to have it cut too early because these sides grow quick uh, so I'm not I'm not going for it cutting probably I still go for it cutting potentially a week before I go away uh, we'll, we'll see on that 
aspect of when I go for it for it doing. Anyway, so I've chucked on some jogging bottoms. I've got my Air Forces on and I've just got a big baggy old t-shirt because uh, we've got to go to Dumpy. I've got to then take William up to Barber's for his hair cutting, his beard doing. Because um, he's back at uni tomorrow. Scarlett's not going to college. She's, she's very, 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 very upset. Uh, I'm going to go and get her some calms or rescue just to chill her out a little bit because she's very, very hypersensitive, if that's the word. She's like staying downstairs with Nala and like sending Jamie upstairs at like nine o'clock because she wants to sit with dog. But until Isabel's legs healed, she's got Winston and Fifi in her room. And I can't have any dogs in my room because I've got suitcases and there's no way to fetch a dog into this room just yet. But once everything's sorted, Nala will end up coming upstairs uh, and I'll get her a bed for downstairs and then she can have a crate upstairs for going to sleep in. She'll probably end up going to sleep on bed but it's all oh, it's you've got to have it there for her because she likes she likes a crate she was trained in a crate you know all these people that are turning around and going she's always they're always in the crates they were in the crates because that's their safe place that's where they have always been trained to go so if I a bed they know that that means they've they've got to go to crate because we assi we assigned their crate as their bed so I've had lots of comments about it and it's like I'm not having it no more if people are going to be nasty about it all I'm just going to block them because I don't need the extra stress that I've already got with sorting Isabel out and watching Scarlett. I don't want it to get to a point where she's having to go to doctors and get medi medication, you know what I mean? So I've not only got one daughter I'm looking after, I've got to look after other daughter because I don't want her going down the spiraling route of being utterly, utterly depressed. It was just a freak accident. So any more comments? On the situation will be just blocked uh, thank you so much for all your nice comments uh, and like I've always said it realistically weren't in our hands because we're taking him anyway it, 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 it were literally if we if I hadn't have said yeah they'd have took him but would have been classed as unfit dog owners basically because we weren't gonna game up I did the right thing for the family and it's like I said totally different to Nala Nala's such a what you call it he were a highly strung dog why I don't know because he was trapped the same he was fetched up the same there were months in between them both they were both fetched up as puppies together so that's it subject is closed like I've said, recovery position, what called recovery position? Recovery now for Isabel, and his main focus is Isabel and Scarlett. Uh, William really don't care because he won't never go downstairs. Not the fact that he was petrified of him, he just, he, he just knew that he were an eyeless drunk dog. So that's it, not talking about it no more. So thank you all so much for your lovely comments. Isabel is fine she is fine don't think that she's what you call it she's been with nala she's seen nala she's seen winston she's seen all the other dogs yeah she is fine yeah it's going to take a lot to knock our isabel down as much as it was horrific and it's like you have basically got to try and move it out of your brain it's hard because i can't unsee what I saw but we we move forward so anyway we're gonna go to dump it we're gonna take William for his hair cutting 
he's gonna have to dry it because it's it, it's wild <laughs> it's wild his beard's wild his hair's wild he just looks like i don't know what but we're gonna dry his hair dry his beard and we're gonna take you for it cutting My beard is not wild. your beard is viking. Your, his beard is viking <laughs> it is if he grew it and it went down here he'd be able to plait it he could plait it anyway uh, so I'm gonna dry get it he's gonna dry his hair. I've left air dryer out, uh dry his beard and we're gonna take him for his hair cutting to barbers, give him get him get him the works done, waxing whatever, eyebrows, whatever. Uh it's place in London's booked. We've we booked that on Saturday. Uh Jamie's been for a walk around London on Google Maps to find where places are and where we found is minutes away from where he needs to be so he's in central london uh he's basically got to walk a down a street and down a street and he's there it's it's probably five minutes it's like from my house probably around to shop etc etc et so we've we have got a good place uh so he's paid his deposit for his for his first month and then in September he's going to pay for October and November. Is that what? Is that right? September, you pay for September to October. Pay for September to October, and then you pay October to November, November to December. And then he comes home for Christmas, and then if he has to say beforehand whether he's going to carry on going down and having the staying for the week. Still has to go down. Yeah, you still have to go down, but what I'm saying is, is, is you. But it'll be for two days instead of five. But are you going to keep the room for? You can't just have the two, the room for two days. You've got to have the room. It would end up being cheaper to just get the room for the other... entire time. So that's what we're probably going to do. It's probably going to get the room from January to May. May June. May June. And that's where he's probably go going to do. And if he needs to go down. What you call it it'll go down if he wants to come back home on like say if he's in tuesday wednesday if he wants to come home on wednesday and stay home thursday friday saturday and go back down on sunday for monday tuesday wednesday then that's what we can do he's always got that room uh in in london well, it works to two days so it'll either be monday tuesday yeah tuesday wednesday wednesday thursday yeah so i don't think there is ever one on friday yeah so it's ju it's just two days a week but it's like i've said to him if this is going to give him the what you call it to like live away from home and he has to live away from home then this is this is what he's got to do so i'll see you later because he's going to dry his hair right ignore this we've not even started isabel's room because we can't now because anyway we've filled it all in not even going into that why it's like that i'm going to sort a leg so, out as you can see it's all moved down here turn it to the side lot now you can see the marking with the mark to a bandage were right up here to a knee so we're going to take it off roll it up replace it i've got my gloves i've got the tape i've got the scissors just to cut that tape Right, we took it off, and that's what it's lo looking like. We're going to re-bandage it now. Right, so we've got it all back up. As you can see, it was right down here to her ankle. Uh, it's here. You've seen what it looks like. It looks actually looks. It looks a good. It looks good. What they've how they've done it. Uh, we don't know what it looks like until we've, like, she's had stitches out and stuff. So. She's gonna look because that's coming off now. So you've got to keep make sure all yeah. these is stuck down. Uh, I'm gonna go and get some proper surgical, uh, st sticky stuff for if I have to redo it again because we've got this now for the next couple of weeks. So if I have to redress it, I want to be able to have some stuff in. So I'm gonna go get some pads and some stuff. Uh, what she's got on is she's got a bandage. She's got some fluffy stuff. And then she's got some like blue pads. Like, yeah. I don't know what they are. They're just like blue stuff. So she's going to get a leg up on this pillar. And she's going to sit and watch uh, 
a phone, her iPad, and she's going to play on a Nintendo. She did, she's going to have a day rest today because uh, she sat in a chair yesterday and play, and watched a computer. So she might go in my bed. So she's still got her Deadpool shorts on and she's all right. How do you feel, Isabel? Because people are worried. Um, I'm fine. Do you, th do you think you're going to be... I know you're going to be scared, that's the thing, but... Are you going to be scared of not liking dogs or anything like that? No. No. I'm so, just letting it lose my legs. My legs are my best feature. My legs are the best feature. Uh, so, yeah. So, she's like, she's got a little bit on her belly. She's got one. I got the ankle. She's got a little bit on her ankle. They've got He got a belly and he got a nun, uh, which I'm going to check them in a minute. <laughs> Obviously, you're not going to look at it because... That'd be a little bit weird, so we're gonna get a scene to. She's probably go in my bedroom and watch telly. I do sound sick, but I'm not sick. She's got a sore throat, aren't you? Yeah. Through tube going down her throat to keep her awake. Yeah. So she looks a little bit flushed, but she has got a hoodie on and she's got no fan on. Yeah, I am a little bit warm. So we're gonna get Western stuff now. Right, I'm now gonna clean carpet. Get our room stormy, pop star. He wants his crocs. Right, I have just had my tea and I've left food because I'm full. I can't eat it all. So I've left some red pe uh, red cabbage, lettuce, carrot, beetroot, not beetroot, uh, red pepper, sorry. I've eaten all my fish and later on tonight at nine ten, nine, ten o'clock, excuse me, I will have my porridge because it's weighing tomorrow. <laughs> it's Tuesday and it's weighing, so I'll see you later on. Right, I've just got some stuff from Amazon. Uh, we'll open this one first because it's a little bag. Right, this is the uh, delicious minty moisture balm. I didn't think it was that small. But this is supposed to be good for eczema, um, dry skin, psoriasis. I don't know why they'd put a ticket on like that, but obviously people are crazy. <gasps> it says push up. So I have done. Oh, that smells right refreshing. Let's put it on my chin. Because, anyway, I've got that for Jamie's psoriasis on his head. So, and then we've got this one. I don't know who's watching. And I've just got four of them. again so that's my amazon a little bit of an order i am waiting for something to come but that's not coming well wednesday uh and there's something else coming but i'm not sure that's right that's like minty on the chin i'm gonna do jamie's head i'm gonna get him to shave his head and i'm gonna do it see if it what you call it's because it's supposed to be really good for psoriasis and jamie's got psoriasis on his head and his ears uh in his ears here somewhere you would think that a little bit of psoriasis would be crazy, but it is. I'll see you all soon.
Here's William with his facial at the barbers after he'd had a shave. Right, <coughs> it is uh, later on and I am watching Married at First Sight. So I am going to finish this vlog. Thank you so much for watching and like again, thank you for your well wishes for Isabel uh, and Scarlett because I've had a few messages about Scarlett. So thank you very much. It means a lot and trust me when I say my kids get the best, they'll get the best. And I'll see you tomorrow in a different vlog. Ah.